the way they overhype optometry in Nigeria University, something I don't really understand. Like, is it the only course that that is more valuable? I don't understand. I'm studying optometry, but I need to say this for you guys to listen to it. So please stay to the end of this video and please subscribe to my channel. Watch to the end and comment on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up, like if you thumbs up like. So, anyways, let's get into the video. You find the one you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should. So, you guys, um. Studying optometry in Nigerian universities is not an easy thing. You need more of your commitment. And optometry in Nigerian universities, not all Nigerian universities offer optometry. Not all. Like, I can just few universities that offer optometry, like Adler State University, Futsu, Federal University of Technology, Owere, Madina University, Nuni Ben, University of Bini City, and one other university, I don't know, I don't really know, but there are few universities that offer optometry in nigeria and optometry is a course whereby it needs your commitment it needs you to be like focused on what you're doing and it's not that you don't really got to have social life you need to have social life but i think you should balance everything just balance it don't let it be equal don't let your social life to be more compared to your reading like your academic life so optometry is a course you need god in that course it's not by your own power, it's not by your own will because the course is ready to frustrate your life. I have some like I have some colleagues that um some of my senior colleagues that in they got five hundred level it's a CCS program in Nigeria. So they got five hundred level and they were asked to withdraw. You are asked to drop like you're asked to go to other department and it's so frustrating whereby you after your 100 level, 200 level, 300 level, 400 level, 500 level, you're, you're almost there to leave the school and you are asked to get back because of maybe you had so much carryovers that section or you didn't pass. There is this exam we usually write in optometry, it's an oral exam and you need to. The exam is, is, is very like this exam that usually frustrates some people because no matter what you did no matter your score no matter your your result how good your result is and you don't pass the exam either you are asked to repeat or you are you're giving a trial and that's trial so this exam is called viral exam and you need to is a practical exam just you need to know a lot about your course and you, you just you just like a panel like you pass through different panels for this exam and these lecturers professors you this exam is called or oh, you're, you're on your own any question you ask try and attempt the question even though you don't know it you can just say something but when you you are asked the question and you just stay and look at them. Why, you, like, you see that you don't know anything? Sometimes you get lucky to ask you something aside your field. It depends. So that's why I said, optometry. You need to be prayerful. You need to know God in it. It's a medical course, though. I hope you guys. Know. They don't operate in the area that they they give lenses. They prescribe lenses for patient, and this is my own glasses. I it was I got this from my school clinic, so uh, I don't want to put it on. So you guys, optometry. If you are aspiring to be an optometrist, you love the course, and you want to know more. See, I think Abia State University, one of the university that offer optometry, and best university that op best university in optometry. They are good in it. They have many equipment, they have many facilities. There are some universities there, so Madonna, you can go for one. And please, before you you think of studying optometry, you need to read. Like you need to be good in. You need to form a reading habits. You can't just study optometry and expect money to fall from heaven during your exam or during your practical exam. No. You just have to read. Make sure you read. And optometry, optometry is a course whereby it's just a triangular life you live in school. Like from school 
to your hostel or your lodge to church from school the next day this just this just it unless you want to really give yourself that social life if you know you can't accommodate social life as someone that when he wants to start socializing but that that doesn't stop you from socializing if you're someone that wants like you go for parties go for clubbing yeah a lot of students do that maybe in their 100 level 200 level when things are not yet serious but once you enter 300 level that's a pre pre clinical class so you need to be serious because you are being screened at in 300 level if we are if we are 180 that got admission to optometry you guys might be screened to 50 or 60 and any slight thing like the thing that even get at uh, this one little mistake so you need to be very careful yeah even your 100 level result and 200 level result matters because you might think that you've not really entered into that clinical class maybe from 200 level you start being serious about yourself and what you want to study and what you want to be in the future but all those things matters i have I, I have some Customers, they were not really serious from their 100 level to 20 level. You don't know all those carryovers, they are really packing for you, and it will make you either you should step down or repeat the class. So that's why once you enter school, no matter the course you're studying, you should be serious with your studies. You should also have social life. I'm not advising you guys not to have social life. You can you, you are free to have social life, but let it have limit. Let it not overshadow your academic life. That's what I'm advising you guys. Optometry is a very nice course. It's a good course. You have to learn more about the eye and yeah. So if you're really in, if you really want to study, it's, I've said this before. Read for me. Read, for me, very. If you keep on reading every day, you get used to it. I noticed this during my exam, second, first semester, exam, two hundred level. I, it's not that I don't read, but I don't. I didn't read from the habit of reading every day. Maybe I read. <laughs> maybe I read four times a week. So and four times a week, I try my best to read for three hours. So, but I didn't read from the habit of reading every day. It was not my first semester, two hundred level that. I started reading. I was enjoying it. My exam was so so sweet. You know when you read very well and then to exam, it looks like nothing is even with other people. Though some some people say it's a little bit difficult and you just need to write once you know. So studying optometry is 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 fun to study optometry, right? So it's very fun. Like you need to be committed if it's your passion you need to be committed but if you know it's not your passion you are pushed to study the course i beg when you reach school when you enter into the university maybe after your 100 level, you should switch over to your dream course don't listen to your parents what they are saying they like you get work there is more job opportunities in that course you should study it. although the course in nigeria now people are just reading the course because of there is more job opportunities no, no one wants to go to school and be a housewife or become jobless so um optometry is i think i would say optometry is good but it's good for only those that know what came to do in, this, in the in the department and it's really overhyped in my school it's really overhyped like it's still scary me when i first entered the school i didn't really know anything about optometry i, I liked the course because i read about it but i didn't really know and everything i did like i didn't know that this is how it is like in my school in some universities in nigeria i thought it's only my school that be so strict in my school but when we got to meet other universities in nigeria the students you are still complaining the same thing yeah and i didn't really know when i got to school and so i uh, people are just saying that it's a frustrating cause the frustrating cause the frustrating cause i don't really get what you mean by it's frustrating cause so people someone told me that it has really dealt with a lot of students they withdrew they withdrew they were asked to step down, we asked to go to another department and start from 200 level. Just imagine when you are in 600 level or you are in 500 level, you are asked to go to another department and start from 200 level. So that thing is so frustrating. It's very frustrating. Someone can just try to attempt of committing suicide because How of it going on your side because of studying optometry is not really easy. You need to be patient. 
it endure it is to tolerate because temptations will come you got to pray to overcome those temptations and yeah this is all these are a few things i have to say about optometry in nigeria being over hype like i don't know like it's the best although it's one of the best but like it's the best some just few universities that are offering it so why shouldn't it be over hyped so thanks for watching and please stay um thanks for watching so please subscribe and share my video for all optometry aspirants like all, all, all people like those trying to those aspiring to be an optometrist so i wish you good luck if you're seeking admission you want to be an optometrist i wish you good luck you get it and please make sure you read